Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another review for you guys, and this time it's going to be of the Canson illustration paper. I was sent this by the Canson company as a surprise. I was not expecting this package, but this video is not being paid or sponsored by Canson or anyone for that matter. And this is just honest opinions, reviews to let you guys know what is good paper. Or at least what I hope is good paper. I haven't tried it out yet. So, expectations. It's ultra smooth, extra white for superior contrast, heavyweight paper ideal for pen, ink, marker, and pencil. There are 15 sheets, and this is a 9 by 12 or 22.9 centimeters by 30.5 centimeters. It is 150 pounds or 250 GSM, and this is from their artist series. It is also to be noted that this is acid-free paper. As we flip it over, we see the paper, and it's got a nice thickness. It is very smooth and very white. And one thing I think is really cool is it's perforated so you can rip the sheets out. That's definitely something I really like. Alright, now I have a butt ton of liners that I plan on testing this out with. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So first off we have the Pigma Professional Brush Pen. Then we have a Concept Marker Brush Pen. A Copic Liner. a Pigma Micron pen, and last but not least, a Staedtler pen, if I can get it to work. As you can see here, all of these lines are super crisp, none of them feathered, or I don't think they bled either. None of them bled to the back, they're super crisp, and they look really good up against this white paper. So. Now on to testing markers. So first off we are going to test how Tombow markers work. Well I can tell already that um, this is pilling up a little bit with extra blending so just keep that in mind. Now next I'm going to try a little bit of water on these to see how the paper handles water, and I don't really like how these blend. They blend well enough, and the paper seems to be able to handle it a little bit. It's not like the best. I wouldn't replace it for watercolor paper or anything. Now that we've done the Tombow markers, I'm going to go right on to the Copic markers. I'm really loving how Copics work on these papers. So, now here is the bleed through. Um, there's actually hardly any bleed through with the Copic. Um, I even tried a lot harder on this, so this would be a really great paper for, to use for Copics. Alright, now I am going to just try some dip pen ink technique. That's better. I don't know what was wrong with my last pen, but that was not cool. Anyway, um, ink writes really nicely on this paper. Alright, so I really like this paper for dip pen and ink techniques. Except, I don't know what was wrong with my last dip pen. All in all, I would say this is a pretty solid paper. I mean, there's no complaints from me. I mean, I wouldn't use Tombow like or water-based markers on this, at least not in a heavy state sense. I mean, if you want to do kind of like light stuff, I would recommend it, but if you use too many, you know, water-based markers, it's going to pill, and I wouldn't recommend watercolor techniques on this anyway, so. I really, really recommend Copic things. Also, I forgot to see how pencil tests up to this, so we're going to see how it erases with two different types of pencil. And then let's see how they erase. They seem to erase pretty cleanly. Just don't, you know, when you're sketching, if you do sketch on this, do not press hard with your pencil because it will leave indentations and they won't be able to erase as easily. But with the lighter lines, you can very obviously see that they erased very well. So now I'm going to get into a little illustration, probably off into this corner, nothing fancy. 
um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it'll work. Alrighty, so I really like this paper, as you heard me say earlier. It's nice and thick. Um, markers really lay down pretty well on it. Um, Water-based markers pill a little bit if you blend too much, but, you know, I already said that. Another thing I didn't test on camera was colored pencils, because I didn't even think of it until afterwards. Um, but I really do like how they lay down. Um, they're very nice. It's a nice paper. It's textured just enough to, you know, hold the pencil or colored pencil wax. And uh, it really works well for burnishing. And I really like it. And I actually will probably use that for colored pencil illustrations from now on. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. Um, and I think I covered everything mainly in the first part of the video. So I have nothing else to really talk to you guys about. It's a great paper. Um, and thank you so much again, Canson, for letting me try it out. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget, you can follow me on DeviantArt, Pagey World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little squid army if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!